story to tell. Australia is the largest country in the Oceania and has the sixth largest area in the world. Economic development has allowed the Australian government to invest heavily in defense in the direction of Allied and Martin. The Australian Army has a permanent troops of more than 30,000, a reverse of 14,000, and is organized into two divisions. The most powerful piece of the Australian Army is 59 M1 Abrams main battle tanks imported from the US. 257 Aslav light armor vehicles, a version of Brunner manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada. In addition, Australia also owns a large number of M113 armor vehicles, more than 800 units. Present in the Royal Australian Army from the 1970s to the present, the M113 armor vehicle has served in various battlefields around the world, from Indochina to the harsh Middle East. In 2002, the Australian Army began to upgrade M113 to the standard M113AS4, based on the predecessors M113AS1 and M113AS3, to match the modern warfare required by the Land 106 project. Australia's M113 upgrade project was led by BAE Systems. The first completed vehicles were delivered to the Australian Army in January 2007. A total of 433 vehicles have been upgraded. The M113 family is an extremely well-known American armor personnel carrier an all-terrain vehicle designed to protect and transport the crew and up to 10 infantry personnel. The M113 incorporates armor resistance to small arms fire, ballistic splitting for my blast protection and spur curtains to maximize passenger survivability. Logistically, the vehicle is capable of rapid deployment by road, rail, sea or air. The M113 is designed for highway, off-road, and cross-country travel while combat laden. A basic M113 weighs 12.3 tons, length is 4.8 meters, width 2.6 meters, and height 2.5 meters, along with the standard crew of two. M113 was made of aluminum alloy. It was only designed for all around 7.62 mm and cell splinter protection. On Martin Battlefield, this level of protection is not enough. Compared to the M113s of the 1970s, the Australian M113 AS4 is a leap ahead with improvements in firepower, engine, protection, and reliability. The hull of the M113 AS4 is now 6 meters, longer than its predecessor. To fit an additional pair of road wheels, its carrying capacity has also improved. M113 AS4 has been fitted with a new transmission, drive chain and engine, as the vehicle now has an 18 ton squid. The outdated 275 horsepower Detroit Diesel 6V53T engine was replaced by a 350 horsepower MTU 6V199TE Diesel engine. The vehicle still reaches the maximum road speed of 65 km per hour. The operating range reaches 500 km. M113 AS4 retains a screaming speed of 5.38 km per hour at a depth of 1.6 meters. Using only a front-mounted gym van, they are propelled in the water by their tracks. The hull of the M113 AS4 is upgraded to standard level 4 standard by add-on ceramic armor tires. 
allows protection against up to 14.5mm rails. The chassis has been reinforced with thin steel plates, protection against landmines and ID blasts. The tube's compartment floor is fitted with spoilers based on the German Army IBD Modular Expandable Armor System. The driver sits at the front of the hull on the left side with engine compartment to the right of the driver. At the rear is the tube's compartment which can accommodate a total of 10 infantrymen. The infantrymen enter and leave the M113 AS4 via power operated ram in the rear of the hull that opens downwards and has a door in the left side. The interior of M113 AS4 has also been improved as well as habitability for passengers. Standard equipment includes heating, ventilation, air conditioning, drinking water cooling systems, automatic fire detection, and extinguishing systems. In terms of firepower, the M113 AS4 is equipped with an electric one-man turret operating a 12.7mm M2HB heavy machine gun. The new turret, supplied by Tenix Defense Systems, is specifically designed for Australia's M113, giving the commander more space and visibility. The turret is also equipped with day and night vision equipment, which provided by Electro Optic Systems. On the sides of the vehicle are two racks for mounting 7.62mm machine guns. Overall, the M113 AS4 is a quite perfect upgrade of the Australians. The Australian Army is still continuing to further develop its armor personnel carrier. According to CNBC, the Australian Army is working with BAE systems to develop unmanned combat vehicles with autonomous technology based on M113 AS4. M113 AS4 will be fully automated thanks to artificial intelligence technology and machine learning that can perform combat or reconnaissance missions with the help of a variety of combat robots. It will gradually replace the human presence in many different areas of combat. The introduction of artificial intelligence technology chiefly applied to military weapons is facing skepticism and opposition from the scientific community. There are concerns that when machines reach a certain level of development, they won't be able to self-control, and this is very dangerous if they are armed. Currently, many countries around the world are also pursuing the application of artificial intelligence technology in the military field to different degrees. However, the limitations of current technology are not enough for war machines to be able to completely replace soldiers on the battlefield. My video of M113 AS4 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.